is in studio with us is a professor of political science, also an internationally respected governance expert. He's a president of the University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAG, University of Ghana chapter, Professor Ransford Jampo. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Um, thanks for having me. I... Today, my preliminary remarks will be very brief. Um, see, well-meaning Ghanaians should be concerned mm -hmm. um, when a whole Supreme Court appeared to be overly worried about the potential non-representation of some people for less than two months, while other people from Seoul have been denied representation for close to four years. You see, you are worried that some people are going to be denied representation for just less than two months. So worried. But others have been denied representation for four years. And um, we, are, we seem to have been quiet over this. And I'm saying well-meaning Ghanaians should be worried about this because it shows a certain double standardness that festers the derogatory perception that people have about their courts. It festers a certain double standardness that festers the derogatory perception that people have about the courts as shown by the various Afrobarometer surveys that have been conducted. And we okay. should all be worried. My worry, my serious worry is that the courts themselves do not appear to be worried about some of these things. And, and it is worrying because these, this is the institution that we respect that we expect that they will be arbiters and keep society together when there is conflict. And so, in my view, they shouldn't show that kind of double standardness. How do you say? I, mean, I heard the, uh, the Chief Justice pontificating so loudly about the potential non-representation of some, of some constituencies. Now, okay. I, I kept asking myself, so, Madam Chief Justice, are you aware that the people of Seoul have been denied representation in parliament for four years why are we not giving that same energy and zeal why are we not attaching that same energy and zeal in addressing this but i, I was told the matter was sent to supreme court then it was um, yeah, it was sent to re, um, high, uh, return to high court after three years the high court says it has no um, jurisdiction and then they are starting again and we are here we are watching as if we haven't seen yeah. yet when it is about other people's matter mm. we pontificate so forcefully please the double standardness is enough because like i said it festers the the derogatory perception that people have about the court and as people who are concerned Ghanaians, we should not sit down and allow some of these things mm. to go on without commenting or without condemning or without drawing attention um, to them so that they are redressed. I expect the Supreme Court itself to be concerned about how people perceive um, it and how they function. Well, we'll hear from the Ghana Bar Association as we go on, on, the, on this matter of perception, uh, whether it also strikes them as a matter of concern or, or not. But thank you, Professor Ransford Jampo, giving us clear indication of the path that you're taking.